everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. Boy, do I have a fun card to show you today. It is a bridge card. A bridge card is a card that looks like this and it lays down flat like that so it can go in a regular envelope, okay? See how the bridge goes across? But I kind of upped this one a little bit by making it a card that also moves. This little ship will just slide right there through the stormy seas. I'm using the On the Ocean bundle from Stampin' Up. This is in the 2023 spring catalog. It is a great set. I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. And I've got several more projects over on my blog using it if you're looking for more ideas. Okay, well, let's make our card base first. There is a PDF over on my blog that will have the free me uh, uh, measurements and supply list for you completely free. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube to hop over there, grab that PDF. It's also got two other on the ocean projects for you. Okay, so you're going to need a piece of Knight of Navy that is eight by four and a fourth. You're gonna measure, you're going to score the long side at one and a fourth, two and a half, five and a half, and six and three fourths, okay? Now I'm using paper from the By the Bay suite. Um, I'm gonna use a different print than what I used on my original card just to kind of show a variety of, of patterns will work. This is how you fold it, all right? And let me get my designer series paper. We're gonna put one in the middle and one on the outside, on each of the outsides, okay? So look through your papers, see which ones you like. The Fancy Flora DSP also has some designs I think would, that would work really well for the ocean. Okay, one more right here. All right, so that is our base. Now, to make the bridge, we're gonna have to make our slider first. So to make your slider, you're gonna need this piece. I put my uh, score away, simply score it away. We're gonna need it again. This piece is the slider window and it measures three by five and a half. And you're gonna score it at one and a fourth and two and a half. Now we're gonna take um, this die right here and we're going to cut out a window right there in the middle. Look through your dies, see what you can use. You could also just use your um, trimmer to cut a window in there in the middle. I, off the top of my head, I'm forgetting the name. I think it's Sending Smiles dies. Again, it'll be on that, um, that product sheet or project sheet. Um, but you could also use, if you have the old word window punch that would work too you just want to create this window right here most of it's not going to be seen so even if you just use your trimmer to create a rectangle there that would totally work too all right now fold down that side and fold in this side and i'm going to put adhesive on this flap if i can get my adhesive to go in the right place you know, tear and tape would probably work better here. Why don't I use tear and tape? My Stampin' Seal Plus is acting wonky at the moment. So we'll kick it to the curb and use the old trusty tear and tape. All right. Now, peel that backing off. And let me get that adhesive that wants to poke out. And then we're just gonna fold this down like that. So you've created kind of like a tube, right? Like a little tunnel. And we're gonna get this piece right here and it's gonna slide in and out, all right? It needs to just be a tiny bit narrower, if you will, than one and a fourth, which is what this is. So mine looks like, let's trim mine down just a hair because if it's a little bit too fat, it's gonna do that kind of, you know, kind of sticks, sticking when you try to pull it. So just take this, your trimmer, and make it about one and an eighth. Let's see if that works better. Oh yeah, see that? All right, now we need to create <clears throat> something 
to hold on to this because when it goes all the way in, you're gonna have a hard time grabbing it. So I came up with this. I'm gonna take just a piece of navy ribbon. I'm gonna fold it in half to make a loop. And I'm gonna staple it on here like that. Now I don't like the way that looks, <clears throat> so let's add a bow. Excuse me, I don't know what's going on with my voice. <clears throat> All right, linen thread, tie a bow, and then we'll stick that right onto that staple with a mini glue dot. Now we haven't bulked this up a whole lot, so it should slide in nicely and not create a problem for your card. See how that can just go in? So if you wanna put this in an, in an envelope, you, that'll be able to fold over. <clears throat> All right, now for our ship, you're gonna to need to cut out this piece from Soft Suede, this one from Basic White, and two of these from uh, Soft Suede. All right, and we're actually going to just snip that off of one. And this one is what we're gonna to adhere to the slider, all right? So get your liquid glue, I think works best here. And put that, you don't want any glue to touch this, so you've gotta put it down a little bit. And you want it the left side so it'll slide over. And I'm gonna to have to hold this down for just a minute. All right, while that's drying, let's um, put these, these pieces together. So I'm gonna put the basic white piece here, like this, okay? And we're gonna actually sandwich this between this ship and this ship, all right? So see how it just barely goes down onto that? Um, it's, it's a little bit tricky, so you're gonna have to move your ship up just a little bit higher than you probably would, because we usually wanna have it sticking like that, but we've got to attach it so that it is in one piece. So lay it over just the edge, and grab your dimensionals, of course, my dimensionals are hiding way here in the back. And I'm gonna put dimensionals right here to hold that down. All right, now there's our ship. And I'm gonna check this out. Let's see if we've got it dry. All right, it's good, it's dry. I used a clothespin to hold it down while it was drying. And so this one we're gonna take and we're gonna sandwich right onto that one. Okay, so you can't really see that sticking in there, but there you have it. All right, so now that is our bridge. So we're gonna get some adhesive and put this bridge right across here. And remember, your card's gonna lay down flat, so lay it down and lay your bridge down, get it nice and straight like that. Okay, so there's your bridge. Isn't that fun? I think kids would really like this. <clears throat> All right, let's do some decorating. We need to create these waves right here. So I'm gonna use both of, actually no, I'm not gonna use both. I'm gonna use one of the wave dies, this one right here. And I've got a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. This is five and a half inches long and about an inch and a half. It doesn't really matter. Um, because we're gonna cut it in half and use both parts. All right. So now, see how that comes apart? You've got two sets of waves that you can use. So let's add some white caps to our waves. The sentiment says we can weather this together. So I thought we need a stormy sea. I've got a dauber and some white craft ink, and I'm just gonna kind of go around the edges of the water. 
like that. Doesn't have to be exact. Doesn't have to be perfect. Like that. All right, another thing that I did was take my wink of Stella and just kind of follow along that edge, adding a little bit of, of whimsy. You'll see it's picking up that white also, carrying it, kind of smoothing it over each of the little tips, the little wave tips. Now it's gonna take a little bit of time for this to dry completely, so be careful. The white will get on your hands. And I'm gonna start with the larger one here in the back, and we're gonna adhere it so that it's just attached right here. So I'm gonna take my, let's use tear and tape again. That seemed to work pretty well, and it's just narrow enough. And let's make sure, did I, it looks a little bit long. Nope, it's right. All right, so tear and tape. And peel off that backing. And I'm probably picking up that white ink. Yep, look, we've got foamy seas. That's all right, we're gonna cover that up. All right, make sure you're just attaching it to the bottom part so that our guy can travel through the seas. Now this one hopefully is a little bit shorter. Yep, and we're gonna adhere that right there. Let's do this one with dimensionals. You could use the dimensional strip here if you want. All right, let's attach that right there. Oh, isn't that just the fun, the funnest, the most fun? I know. Now the sentiment says we can weather this together. And that kind of sounds like something you'd give an adult, but you could always change it to happy birthday or you're a treasure. All right. So now the last things that we need to do are add on our stormy clouds. I've cut out two clouds from basic gray. And I'm gonna have this one kind of coming out from behind like that. And this one, I'm gonna turn and have coming this way. I'm gonna cut the edge off like that. All right, now for my sentiment, I have a piece of the same by the bay paper. I'm gonna stamp it in Night of Navy. Whoa, it almost fell off. This is kind of a worn, weathered wood pattern. And I'm gonna cut it out with my scissors. And the way that I like to do that is I like to start with my pencil to draw where I want my scissors to go. That way I don't make any mistakes once I have my scissors, I can just follow the line that I've drawn and it kind of just takes all the guesswork out of it. There we go. All right, you wanna use your smallest scissors. Our paper snips are perfect for this. And then just follow your pencil line. Now, when you get done, if you see some of your pencil lines still, just erase it. Um, this this paper is kind of deceiving though. It has these, you know, wood stripes in it, which kind of look like pencil lines. I was trying to erase something that was part of the paper. All right, around and around we go. And there we go. Let's do this a little bit better right here. Oh no, now I made it worse, didn't I? Come on, we need you to be rounded. There we go. All right, and now we'll add this on with a dimensional and we are done. All right, you guys, this is a fun 
kind of over the top bridge card. This little wave wants to stick in. There we go. I hope you'll give this card a try and look at your other stamps and dies and see what else you could use to make this fun moving bridge card. All right, don't forget to click the link here on YouTube. Hop, hop over to my blog, grab that free PDF, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.